without the baton, I can get in here and pop on to the ground, right? And when I'm down, uh, uh, now I can control uh, it into a uh, position where I can start holding him up. Uh, uh, so um, leverage is what we're working, right? Leverage. When I do it with the baton, it's just locking it in tighter and maybe getting some pain compliance too, right? When I'm here, he may or may not feel that at all. Ah, yep. Okay, some people feel it a lot. Okay. <laughs> Didn't feel it at all. Okay. But I'm that, not muscly like him. I'm just strong down below. Is that? <laughs> that's what he thinks. Is that? <laughs> is that tighter than this? It is. Okay. I can still make it work with this based on leverage. Now it's that much tighter. Okay. Again, some people, if I just Okay, close the triangle. Oy. I'm not even cranking yet. Close the triangle. Remember, this is the triangle. Right? That's the triangle. Right? The triangle's big and loose. Close it. Aye, yeah. And then start cranking down. All I'm doing is killing my wrist at that point. Kill the wrist. Aye. Okay? And then leverage also. Okay? Right? So this is just a way to assist in this. Okay? Add some pain compliance, maybe a tighter control, absolutely, right? And assist in that. Okay, so that's all I'm trying to do with that particular technique. Okay, if this was a deadly force situation, I could use that same technique over here. Okay. Yeah. I don't have to kill him with it, but I could choke him, right? If it was a deadly force situation, I could use that same technique in the neck. Okay. Right, so again, I, I say deadly force situation because you should not use a baton on someone's neck if it was not a deadly force situation. Okay, just, I want to make sure that's understood. Everybody clear with that? We do not use a stick on somebody's neck if it's not a deadly force situation, yeah? Okay. You clear with that? So, that position can be used. I'm going to show you another way to use this position here in a minute. Okay, so we're going to do three techniques here for um, control. But again, that's just to lock it in and maybe hopefully get some pain compliance too, but don't count on that, right? But when I've got that locked in, I've got his arm. His arm's not going nowhere. He might be flailing me around, but I'm gonna hold on to his arm, okay? Right? And if I've got someone on the other side, then no, that's great. We can, we can get both arms under control until we can get him to the ground. All right? All right, did everyone? The biggest problem with this technique is when people do not Close the triangle in. I'm out here. It's not feeling anything, right? And also, don't use the thumb here. Hook, oops, sorry. Pick his nose and then hook. Okay. Hook the arm. So it's here. Some people were trying to go like that. Okay. Just keep it gross motor. Here, hook. Okay. Control. Okay. <laughs>